Hello friends, today I will discuss the pencil tool in Adobe Photoshop. Here is the pencil tool. You can draw anything with this tool. It will draw with the foreground color. Click here. Here you can change the size of the pencil. You can also change the hardness of the pencil. But it's not working with the pencil tool. The hardness will always remain 100%. Here you will find various types of brush presets for pencil tool. Here you will find various brushes under any selected presets. Here you will find different settings. You can create new brush presets and groups, rename, delete, import, export brushes, etc. You will find this toolbar by clicking the right mouse button also. Here you can set the pencil angle and roundness. Here you can change the pencil angle. There are some shortcuts available. Press the Alter button plus the right mouse button and hold, then move the cursor to the right side. The size of the pencil will increase. In the same way, move the cursor to the left side. The size of the pencil will decrease. Here you can change the mode. By default, it's in normal mode. I am showing you some of these modes. Behind. Darken, back to the normal. Here we can change the opacity of the pencil. Set it at 30%. Now you can see the difference. If you draw continuously, the opacity will be constant. Once we leave the mouse button and draw again, the color will be darker. If you have a graphics tablet, you can use this option. You can use pressure for opacity. Here you can change the smoothing of the pencil. If you increase the smoothing, your zigzag line always will be smooth. If you want to draw a zigzag line, keep it at 0%. Here are some smoothing options available. If we check pull string mode, we can see the difference. If we check catch up on the stroke end, the line will end on the last pencil point. You can draw a straight line by pressing the shift button. Press and hold the shift button. Draw a line from left to right or right to left. It will create a horizontal line. In the same way, if you draw a line from top to bottom or bottom to top, it will create a vertical line. 
Another interesting thing, click on any place, then press and hold the shift button and click on another point. There is a straight line drawn. Here is an interesting feature of the pencil tool available. It's auto erase. Now check it. We draw something with the foreground color. If we draw again on the previously painted area, it will erase or replace with the background color. I am changing here the background color. Now I am drawing again with the foreground color. See the effect of auto erase. If you have a graphics tablet, you can use this option. You can use pressure for pencil size. Here you will find the symmetry button. Select vertical. Now draw any side of this vertical line. The reflection will have drawn to another side. Thus we can use other options. Diagonal. Webby. Parallel lines. Thanks for watching.